Well, we're uh, back at it again. It's uh, December 19th. Me and Austin were hunting <clears throat> my two pups tonight, Cash and Slim, and we got Rage. We're going to be dumping them out by themselves tonight. We're going to throw Rage out first and see if he can get one up the bark, so stick with us. Okay, I got Rage here. We're going to cast him first by himself. Hopefully he can get one treed up pretty quick. Okay, Ray just got struck in at about 260 yards, so we're going to see if he can get it treated pretty soon. Okay, Ray just got treated, took about five minutes, got it figured out, so we're going to walk in here and see what he's got. Okay, we just made it in here. We were shining for a couple of minutes. Found a big hole up there. So we're gonna pull them off and probably go cut them pumps loose. Get up there, buddy. There's a hole right there. Pretty good size hole too. Can't them all, but on to the next. Okay, this is Rage's his second turnout. We're gonna turn him down this little path. And hopefully, he can get on something. Okay, Ray just got treed in. He's about 200 yards. So we're gonna walk in here and hopefully we see a coon this time. We just made it in here to his tree. We found the coon. It's kind of been a rough night. We didn't expect it to be this rough from what the weather was saying. This is his second tree, his first tree was a den. And we tried cutting the pups out by themselves and that didn't work out too well, but maybe we'll try again. But at least we got one tree. So I'm gonna go over here and pin them up, then we're gonna knock it out.
we uh, we just pulled up here. We're gonna probably make this the last drop of the night. I'm gonna get my uh, pup Slim out and see if he can get on one here. Well, I, uh, I just got back up here to the truck. We uh, turned Slim and this section of woods on this side of the road. And uh, once he got in there, about 500 yards, I flipped cash out. Quit. I flipped cash out on the other side of the road. And he wheeled back around behind us here. And uh, he treed on a broke off stub. Slim there. I guess Slim, he just, he's coming back to us. Um, <clears throat> he he treed on a uh, broken broken out den, and then I recut him again, and he got treed again on a, um, it was a big, big old maple tree, big soft maple that was broken out. It was a den, but it had a um, bunch of grape vines going up into it, and I got in there looking around. He treated a possum. So, I, uh, I corrected him on that. And I brought him back and put him in the box. It's about, uh, it's three o'clock exactly right now. So, Slim, he just come back to us. Last time I looked, he was about 300 yards. And uh, he, never, he never made a bark. But uh, we're going to go ahead and head on to the house. It's a good thing we had Rage tonight. He was our only saving grace. Been kind of a crappy night, man. I thought it would be a lot better of a night than this. And it, it may have been. I just ain't packing no dog power. These puppies ain't wanting to, wanting to perform. I guess they're not really puppies. They're 14 and 15 months old. I mean, a lot of... A lot of guys would consider that just to be about a grown dog, but they're still young, but definitely didn't impress me tonight, not at the least. So We're going to get him loaded up here and head on to the house. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.